Howdy folks! Welcome back to my damn YouTube channel. Today, we're checking out my new system. So last weekend I had to make a long drive, and I just really didn't want to do it without having some sort of bass in my eardrum. So I went to my local audio shop and bought some way overpriced nonsense, and I'm gonna let y'all hear it. But what did you get, Kenny? I got one singular Power Punch P3 Sub. So let me just show you. All right, I set the camera retardedly bright so y'all could see. Got a Roxford Fosgate 500 watt amp. For the first time ever, the gain isn't completely maxed out on the amp. And these are the same wires that we hooked up last time. Power and ground wire, you know, we just threw it in there. It works. But let's check the sub out. Let me just put the damn back seat down and show you. Oh yeah, look at that baby. That is a Roxford Fosgate. P3 power punch sub. We also have it in a ported box, but I had to hook the subwoofer itself up inside the box, and I did positive to positive, negative to negative, so I get a nasty two ohm. But I'm definitely learning a lot more about this subwoofer shit from y'all's comments and doing hella research on my phone, but I still don't know what the fuck a hurt is. All these people talking, oh, blah, 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 161 at 34 hurt. What the fuck's a hurt? I hurt myself today all i know is dc voltage actuating current and ohm but yeah why don't i just give y'all a fat demo with the sub why why is it this bright why my god dude is it necessary for you to be that fucking bright look at that shit piece of shit man i'm gonna give y'all a nasty demo of the sub but first i gotta cram some shit in my oral departure <laughs> well damn Mud jug I'm shitting in today is the somewhat new copper chrome mud jug. Would you look at that? If you're interested, go ahead and go over to mudjug.com and get yourself one. Let's do something special here for this demo. Audio, speaker level, dub woofer. Go ahead and crank that one on down to 10. D bass, high. Loudness, no, we want it loud. Bass boost, on. Non-copyright bass drop. What the fuck? Oh my god! I spent all weekend wiring that shit up. Maybe I just had it up too high. Let me turn it back down. What the fuck? I broke my camera! Out, get out, get out! <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess it's safe to say it's clearly blown. Look at all these dents, man. Hear that? Oh, sweet! <laughs> Good thing I got a warranty. All right, I can't lie to you. I didn't just now blow that shit. I was driving to Louisville and back because of my girl's cheer comp. I wired the shit up the day before I left. I actually did it right this time. I figured out last time I didn't plug the RCAs into the right place and the remote wire. You know, there's a remote wire for the back of the radio and I didn't know that. Everything's hooked up right. I'm cruising around bumping. Boom, boom, boom. Not getting any split signals through the sub or nothing. You know, it's all hitting good. And then I'm driving home and all of a sudden, <laughs> It starts ear raping every single bass note instead of giving me a clear, clean bass. So yeah, that, that's when it blew out. Must have been bumping it too hard, didn't break it in or nothing. But thank God, I got a warranty on that piece of shit. First time ever I've ever got a warranty on anything. But I called them today and they told me to take it out of the box and take it up there and they'll do tests on it or whatever. I mean, 100% it's blown out, the duh. But I really don't know why it blew out. Uh, the amp's only 500 watts, sub is a 1200 watt sub at its peak. I don't really know. I'm gonna talk to the dude up there. Maybe he'll help me diagnose a cause for the sub blowing out. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Let me take this sub out real quick. So I don't know if y'all can see him better now, but on the inside of here, clearly something's been slung out because it's dented up. Listen to this. Yeah. Why the hell is this camera so bright, dude? Love you. Gonna take this big piece of shit back, but I'll get back with y'all and let y'all know if I get the new sub. We got a new one. All right, so I talked to the dude up there, and he tested it with his multimeter, and he said 
it basically isn't even blown. Well, hell, that, that ain't right. Pressed up on that cone a little bit, and then he heard the <laughs> and he saw like where it was all dented on the inside. So he figured it just got too hot and then blew itself up on the inside. But yeah, we're going to the house right now. We're gonna get that shit set up, and we're gonna listen to some jams, buddy. Slap y'all on this. Pod, bro. We gotta make this a speedy process because it's about to be dark soon. We got negatives and positives together. Fresh and clean, buddy. Double check, everything good. Put a ring here. All right, everything's hooked up. All right, man. I can't lie to you. You see the punch equalizer? Man, I had that shit maxed out. Frequency was about halfway. And then I have the gain on four. But still, man, 500 watt amp, 1200 watt sub. Why, why, why? I should be able to max everything out and it not blow out, right? That's what I thought. When I was talking to the dude in there at first, he was like, oh no, man. You you underpowered the sub, man. 500 watt amp with the 1200 watts. Nah, man, it was underpowered. Then I was like, oh, but it was the amp. Y'all got me. Y'all picked it out. And then I started talking about, you know, I had the punch EQ up. And he was like, oh, yeah, man, you overpowered it, man. You gave it too much power. What is it then? Can you not just say it's not my fault so I can feel more accomplished about myself? God, yeah. All right. Hook these speaker wires up. Let's hear what it sounds like with the amp all the way down. What up, girl? Really hot. Thank you. I think you should come inside and eat. Why would I come inside when I can eat ramen noodles this fast? You're gonna burn your mouth. Stop. You're right. Now your taste buds are gone. Now you can't taste nothing. Couldn't taste nothing from all that backer in the first place, huh? Did they give you a new one? Yeah. Did you have to argue with them? No. At first he was like, man, you underpowered that sub, man. Oh, that's the amp y'all gave me. Y'all picked it out for me. No, man, you overpowered it, man. Was he high? Yeah. Was he a hippie? He was high. What else do you want? I'll take you on a platter. Hey, video. It would have sucked if I just had all that stuff all the way up and then the new... <laughs> I don't even think it's hitting. All right, y'all, so I've been tuning it up and I have everything on the amp all the way down. Gain's a little bit under three. And I was doing a frequency test and it went to like a real high pitch note. And even with the sub unplugged and I turn it up kind of loud, it puts the sub into protection mode. It's all the way down, sub's not hooked up, but it's still going into protection mode. But I'm gonna go to Walmart and yeah, y'all see my situation I got here. I just got some naked ass wires crammed in here, which is not smart because that ground wire could easily touch the remote wire. So I'm gonna go to Walmart and get some electric bull shit that I can clamp on the ends of those and then shove them in the amp. Same thing for the speaker wires. Just so I know none of that lazy bullshit is the reason it's doing it. It's gonna be dark by the time I get back. Just finish this video tomorrow morning. I already know everybody's asking. Bro, what about the Ford? The Ford. The only thing I've done to the Ford, I took the flex plate off and then got my AC compressor off the old block. I still need to get another block. But yeah, when I get everything situated, I'm gonna give y'all a fat ass demo. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. Check this shit out. Bitch ass rain. We're gonna pull the Mustang in the garage but we about to go to an auto parts store oh <laughs> what do you know went all the way to walmart yesterday right of course they didn't have a fucking single thing dedicated for zero gauge wiring what a surprise all right we about to go to AutoZone, and then if AutoZone don't have it across the street to o'reilly's but also i did a bunch of research this morning and last night on subwoofers and all that finally figured out what the fuck a hurt is don't precisely know what the fuck i'm talking about but i'm learning buddy yeah i say we're gonna get in the zone today might as well go out to that damn parking lot since it's raining now hell actually be able to drift for y'all all right i'll be back we were absolutely incorrect we did not get in the zone this afternoon AutoZone did not have the parts we needed but they did not have a damn thing either we'll go to that audio place hopefully they'll have the shit so the audio place did not have shit either he looked at it and he was like dude just stick it in the fucking amp bro so i was being a pretty big vag i wasn't twisting the copper hard enough together so when i go back out there i'm just gonna redo the bullshit i'm hungry as hell i'm cooking some shit smuckers goober jelly this is that shit dog i don't know a lot of people tell me ugh bro it tastes like chemicals fuck you i've eaten this shit since I was a kid. I walked into the room dripping in gold. Na, 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 na. By the way, you gotta mix all the shit together into one paste or it doesn't taste right. Yeah! Fly! Goober. Yeah! Get you a spatula. Salted sweet cream butter. Fat ass TBS of this shit. 
Now the thing is, when the butter melts, you don't want to just toss the damn sandwich right in there. You gotta wait till the butter's hot. Because if not, the butter's just gonna soak into the bread, get all soggy, and then when you eat it, you're gonna shit yourself. Bam! Oh, that's perfection. Another TVS. Alright, let's just get a fat close-up. Fried peanut butter jelly sandwiches. Oh lord. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Y'all ready for this shit? Oh yeah. I think it's time for a daily milk chug. Red top milk or you're a guy that has periods. Oh fuck, I love cow tits. Let's hurry up and eat this shit before we get body dysmorphia. All right, let's get started on the subwoofer bullshit. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck you, car. Life is a highway all night long. Fuck a beat. I was trying to beat the case. I ain't beat that case. Bitch, I did the race. Shotty. Got a fat ass. <laughs> yeah. Finally got the damn wire crammed in there somehow. Ah! Well, this knife ain't sharp. Alrighty, got these sub wires in. I did trim the copper and then shove them in there because they weren't skinny enough, but instead I just twisted the fire out of them. Finally got them crammed in there. Then I put some different speaker wire on it. The old speaker wire was shit. So everything's wired up pretty good in my eyes. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the amp. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a 50 hertz bass sound through my radio and then I'm going to adjust my gain with it. Whenever it starts to clip and distort, that's when I'll back off the gain. All the radio settings turned down. None of that bullshit on. I'm hoping this thing's gonna bump so hard that it's gonna rattle shit in the garage. Alright y'all, got it tuned up. I got the gain a little less than halfway. Frequency on 80 and then the bass boost all the way down. So if this one blows, <laughs> it is not my fault. Alright, right, right. One thing I did notice is I had the trunk open and the doors open for a while. So all these lights were just on and it made my battery a little more weak. You know, drained some power out of it. When I was trying to tune the amp, I noticed that it would kick into safety mode. And I think that was because the amp wasn't getting enough power because the alternator needed to spin, give the battery some more juice correct me if i'm wrong start it up and let the alternator spin and then after i done that shit you know leaving it running it wasn't cutting into protection mode anymore all right let me turn on the song let's <laughs> <laughs> rattle on this shit up here Get a close up on the woofer. Let's see if it rattles shit inside, bro. Oh shit. I don't know about y'all, but I think that's a lot of bass for 112, especially with just a little 500 watt amp. But I know there's thousands of things I could do to give me more bass other than turning the punch EQ all the way up. If it goes into protection mode anymore like it was, I'm gonna get a second battery to put back here just so it has enough power. But yeah, dude, I'm proud of myself. But if there's anything you would have done different or any tips, tricks you got for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I much appreciate those comments a lot more than <laughs> what a fucking retard, dude. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I hope y'all like the system. It's very clean, deep bass. I've never really had that before. In the Ford, when I had those 312, they would just hit high pitch notes. And when they would hit those, it would wah, rattle everything. A lot of people told me it was just because my box was so shallow. But I'm going to end this video here. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave this video with a fat thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Keep that number climbing. And also, follow me on Instagram, GoodLowTV. Add me on Snapchat, RNTV underscore 15. And I'll catch you next time on the GoodLowTV channel. Later! Later!